okay? As you see, I was on my Instagram for Rojo Chief Clothing, and I'm clicking on my online clothing store. And on here, I have clothes. I got hoodies, sweatshirts. You know, if you like to buy them, long sleeve, short sleeve. I'm clicking on hoodies right now for men, and that's one. And then I'm clicking back just to show you uh, fashions that I have for women. Like I have long sleeve shirt. Okay. Then I even have clothing for babies as well and kids. So that's the onesie. You can get that in different colors. As well as t-shirts, hoodies, and long sleeves for kids. So now, let's get ready for the show. Okay, this is a picture of Melville Hershevitz. Um, they said that he was an anthropologist, but he's a person of Hebrew descent. He went to school at Hebrew Union College, and he also went to school at the University of Chicago. So he had followed the racist pseudoscience of anthropology that was handed to him from Charles Darwin. And he also had was underneath the tutelage of Francis Galting, who was the president of both the University of Chicago as well as the Rockefeller Foundation. Okay. And the Rockefeller Foundation as well as Carnegie Foundation and the Ford Foundation, amongst many others, are the foundations that fund the studies at universities as well as different school systems and trade schools across the country. So anyway, so this is the guy who basically said, without any sort of true evidence, that Black Americans, or the people that's known as Black Americans today, that used to be called... American Indians before they was reclassified several times as mulatto, colored, Negro, and lately African American in 1988, which against the majority of the Indians did not want to be called African American. And that's published in a newspaper because they did not feel that they had any cultural or historical ties that will tie them to the continent of Africa. As you see here, this is a, an image of Luzia, and she was a Paleo Indian, and there was a lot of Indians that was in the mounds in North America and also Central and South America as well. And these are the people that been here for hundreds of thousands of years prior to any migration from anywhere else. And the thing of it is that Hershevitz and all the other people that teamed up with him, they already knew this information, but they tried to cover up this information by coming up with a false narrative of trying to say that uh, so-called black Americans descended from people from Africa, where indeed that was a lie because they already knew for a very long time that people, that black people descended from the Indians that looked like this and that looked like the sculptures in Mexico of the Olmec people and the Aztecs and the Mixtecs and other cultures like the Arawaks that I also did a video about. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to know every time when I drop a new video. Thanks.